I'm glad they're doing Black History Month stuff. You know, we're live yeah. now. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's a charter school. So. so oh, yeah? Yeah. They need to learn this stuff. Yeah, most of the teachers, you know, people like all they know is whatever. So it's nice. They'd be like, man, we did do something in history. We did something. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Come on in, round up, family. This is cool. Friday night. What else you got going on Friday night, right? That's it. COVID. Yeah, why not? Make it my thing is, man, shoot, cut the TV on right, right now. You can watch this on TV and learn how to make money. I'm like, I want to, I want to watch TV to pour into me. That's it. That's it. No. Take this opportunity to, I mean, if you're gonna be home and safe. What do we always say back in before COVID? Or most people said we don't have time. We don't have time. Now we have more than enough time. More than enough time, right? <laughs> Round up, homies. Come on in. Come on in. We got twenty people already. Uh, I want to give a shout out to a new member, Art. Art is our newest member of the membership. If you all look below, there's a join button. Members questions. I have to honor members first because they just want perfect busy professionals want just a little something extra. So we'll do that first. Looks like we got a love offering here, too. Who is this? The candle link. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Super sticker. <laughs> Greetings, class. This is Chris Haskins with the realestateroundup.com. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. And in doing that, I get to introduce you to some amazing night. We got one of them for you. Stephanie McKenna, how you doing? I am doing great. Hope everyone is. Yeah, we are at home staying out of harm's way. What's going on, Mark? One of our members here. Mark says hello to you. Guys, today is your official invitation for the registration of Stephanie McCann's mobile home two-day virtual master class. Nobody's coming. <laughs> Y'all, we, we had so much interest on Monday. Stephanie and I have been talking uh, every day this week, putting together full training for you. So tonight we're going to go over all this stuff, which is going to be covering. Stephanie has some out of some unbelievable information to share with you. Two days. It was so much stuff. We had to make it two days. Stephanie, tell me, just give them uh, for the people that missed us on Monday, give them a little bit of your background and then we'll get a, go into what we're going to cover in this two day master class. All right. So hello, everyone. Oh, glad to have you here this evening. Um, my background, I've been in the real estate business since 2007, starting with single family houses, got introduced to mobile homes and mobile home park investing. Uh, I've been doing that since about 2008. It wasn't very long after um, I got introduced that I got into it. I am a real estate broker, agent, uh, property manager, um, as well as investor all within the mobile home park space and mobile homes. Sweet. Sweet. I also own my own mobile homes, um, rent them out. Um, I have some rent to owns. So yeah, pretty much anything involving mobile homes, I'm your person to go to. That is cool. Go-to person. It's always good to have an expert in the field. So uh, the reason Stephanie and I thought this was important for you because uh, real estate is going through the roof. You're going to see a video tomorrow roundup. We listed a house the other day. I don't know. I can't even count how many showings we had. We have an, we had an offer, $12,000 more than what we were asking, $5,000 above appraisal, no home inspection, no closing costs. It's just crazy. So I'm saying that to say the market is super hot. So affordable housing is going to be big. It's going to be big. It is. So Steph, so February 24th at four o'clock, let's give me, give us, give them a breakdown and we'll get to some Q and A tonight too. So February 24th, next, next Wednesday coming up, tell me a little bit about uh, what we're going to be training them on. Well, um, on February 24th and 25th, my goal is to make sure that I empower everyone that attends that call with the confidence to be able to find their first mobile home deal. Sweet. That's definitely my goal. And with that being said, I'm going to be able to provide you with the knowledge of how to get started, where to locate homes, which homes give you the best profit, you know, how and who to network with, you know, to purchase these mobile homes, mm -hmm. how to show up and present yourself when making offers. That is going to be a shocker for a lot of people. <laughs> Trust me. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. 
We're not, we're not looking all buttoned up here. Watch. Um, what to look for when you're considering purchasing a mobile home. We're going to talk about how do you negotiate the price of the home? Where do you find the buyers? How do you negotiate the sale? How do you work with the property manager and the, you know, and the mobile home park owners? Renting versus selling. And then you're also going to learn a little bit of mobile home terminology, enough to be able to have you look and appear as if you've been doing this for a good while. Yeah, you got some secrets, man. The way you were telling me yesterday how you approached these mobile home lot on uh, the park owners, mm -hmm. you can't just walk in there. I mean, yeah. these fools, you know, go ahead, I'll go. Yeah, and it's really funny because I'm a property manager of seven mobile home parks. Wow. And so throughout from the mountains of North Carolina all the way down to South Carolina, as well as an owner. So I have people approaching me all the time like, hey, you got those empty spaces over there and, you know, why don't you just let me have one of those and I can put a home on them. And I'm looking at them like, do you want to ask me a little bit about me and why that spot's vacant? No. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, you're going to get to learn that type of stuff. You're going to get to know the stigmas that come with mobile homes. That's crazy. Honestly, when you tell your friends that you're going to be investing in mobile homes, they're going to look at you like you're nuts. <laughs> they really are. They're going to be like, of all the things you're going to invest in, mobile homes, you know, you're stooping low. You're just yeah, stooping. you're stooping low. Like you know, um, but there's money to be made. Um, you'll have a lot of fun too. It's that if for those who are in single family houses. And they're thinking uh, they're completely different. That's going to be a, a really big learning curve. Mm -hmm. You're ahead of the game. It's very similar to mobile home investing. The mm -hmm. only thing different is that with a mobile home, it's not a deed. It's a title like a car. So, gotcha. you know, and there's some little nuances that are completely <laughs> different. But the, the wholesaling and, and the same attitude that you have with houses can be brought into mobile home investment. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. It's just so less money. Good gracious. It really is. It really is. I mean, I, last year I got one home for free and one home for $500, which actually I could really kick myself for paying $500 because I probably could have got it for free. <laughs> wow. What makes you say that? I mean, well, now looking back on it, hindsight, you know, 2020. Well, okay, so this was a deal that was brought to me by a mobile home mover. Um, and the person approached him and was going to, I think, junk the home. They were just going to get rid of it. I just wanted it off their lot. Mm -hmm. And so when they, when I approached the owner, I was just, I don't know, I got a little giddy because it was a really nice house. <laughs> and I was like, hey, you know, I'll give you 500 bucks for it, you know? And so I talks first. I let loose first instead of just relax. Go. Yeah. And just asking him. But at the end of the day, I felt like $500. If he still got a good that, deal, it was still a, it was still a, when I tell you it was screaming deal, I took that $500 house and sold it for $16,000. <laughs> Only in real estate. Do we complain? Do we make $15,000? So this, the, the scripts that you have and the documents that you're going to give them, I, I'm just amazed when I talk to you and you, the way that you have uh, systematized, you know, I, when you were talking to me about, well, when someone takes in, buys a new one, they did trade in one and then you can talk to them about getting that. It's just so many just different nuances that you have put together over the years. Are you going to be able to share that with my roundupers too? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I Like I said, my goal is to empower you that when we are done with those two days, that you will be able to hit the ground running. Now you may not come out of it with, you know, out a few bumps and bruises, you know, but I'm That's here, you know, you can ask questions, um, you know, <clears throat> but you'll be able to find a mobile home. You will, you'll be able to find it, buy it. And then we'll figure out what your exit strategy is going to be. What, how you're setting up your business. I thought That's it was so true. cool when we were talking yesterday, we were doing the mastermind. I thought that you just went to the mobile home parks. And when you oh. broke it down to me, it's three different types of sellers. I had no idea that there were yeah. <laughs> types yeah. of yeah. owners that you, you know, you know, they they, they, don't, they may not even appear to be 
I mean, they might not even be in the business, but it just could be, you know, different location that you're looking. So you've yeah. you've been doing this for so long. So you're going to give them a step by step system. What about people that live in highly populated areas like in the city, in the D.C. metro area and maybe California? Can they do that remotely or is it stuff in their town, too? They can do it remotely. Again, it's going to depend on what type of business they want. So if they if they're looking to buy these, rent them out, you know, you have to decide how far are you willing to be away from your your home or your point of contact to travel <clears throat> to take care of these things. And gotcha. it's still doable. It just it really will be. How far do you want to be? How much work do you want to put into it? And you may go, you know what, that's too far, but I still want to do this. There's an option for you to be able to do it almost virtually. Gotcha. Sweet, virtually. Yeah. So round up, there's a link in the video description. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Now you, you could be anywhere tonight. You are hanging out with us trying to make money, raise your financial literacy. I'm reading a book now. It's like, man, gro what is your growth plan? Yeah. What is your growth plan? We all have goals for financial goals and we have let life goals. But what is your do is like, Chris, tell me about your growth. What is your plan to grow? And I didn't necessarily have one put together. So I am focusing on growing. I just want to grow. So this here, if you don't understand, which I'm not a master at this, Stephanie is the master. The link is in the video description to get signed up. It's two days. It's going to be coming up this Wednesday, the 24th. Get signed up. The early bird registration it was will end on Monday. And guys, it's nothing but two tanks of gas. For two days, hang up the broker. Uh, Stephanie, people call you, uh, no doubt, all the time for data. I mean, you, you, you charge consultations. Or how do you usually get this information out? Um, I'm just getting started with working with people. So I use, I'm now charging a consultation fee just because I get inundated with so many phone calls and so many emails. I mean, if you're, mm -hmm. if you have a simple question, like, you know, you found a mobile home, let's say you take, do the 2J training and you found a mobile home and you just want to give me the stats on it. Hey, it's a three bedroom, two bathroom, blah, blah, blah. Send me a quick email. I can answer those pretty quickly for you. That's not going to take away much, much time for me. But if you want me to spend time with you on the phone, going through the deal with you, or you're wanting to learn more about the business, maybe a mentor type relationship, that again is going to take me away from my business. So therefore I charge a, a consultation fee. So you're getting all this stuff guys for one fee. You're getting the, the all uh, how she's locating this stuff, how she's managing them. Scott wants to know, uh, um, is this, is, is it like a lease option or seller financing? Is that how you're doing some of this stuff stuff? You can cover that. Yeah. Yeah. You can, we'll be covering that um, lease option, seller financing. Mm -hmm. Sweet. How we'll about the documents you have? What'd you say? We'll have paperwork for that as well. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk about that. So I know I don't have a lease for mobile home. Is there anything different? Is it the same thing that you use for a rental property for a house? It's similar. There's there's some extra things uh, that you want language that you want to have in there um, on your lease. You got to think mo the mobile homes that we're going to be looking at. I'm going to be telling you to look for are at least 10 to 20 years old. Gotcha. So there's some things that you just, you know, you want to protect yourself that could crop up mm -hmm. that you have no control over. That is cool. How about the repairs? Are you going to help them understand what to look for when they're, yeah. I know when you look at a house, it's one thing I could imagine that it's something different for a mobile home. It is something different from a mobile home. So I will be showing you what to look for when you walk into these homes, where to, you know, where to stand, what to, you know, where to look. Um, I'll be telling you for, to look for signs that, that could give you a clue as to water, infiltration, things like that. So yeah, you'll be learning that on this call as well. I bet that's big too. Yeah. How about giving them some checklist stuff? Cause you maybe put together some checklists for them as they're walking through this stuff. Yeah, I got those too. I have a checklist of, you know, um, what type of home, what questions you should ask, you know, when you get someone on the line that has a mobile home. Um, I also have a list of questions of what to look for in the mobile home when you're Sweet. doing your walkthrough, Sweet. you know? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, round it up. I didn't want to hold you all tonight. It's been 15 minutes. Uh, the link is in the video description. This is the official video for you to register for Stephanie's mobile home masterclass. It's just a cost of two tanks of gas. 
early registration will end in a few days. And you'll be able to hang out with Stephanie for two full days. Well, not full days, but two days. So it'll be a couple hours. She's going to come on and show you exactly step by step how she does it, even if you're not doing it in your town. Yeah. Stephanie, let me see. Any questions we got here? Vin Reigns wants to learn from the masses. Good for you. This is what I hear a lot, too. Vince said he spoke to a mobile home manager and they were not friendly. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to address that. Park managers and park owners are not friendly. And I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you how to, I'm not going to say get around it, but how to warm them up to the idea of working with you. Remember, I'm an owner and a manager. I promise you. Go ahead. I'm going to let you go. You got some. I mean, when you were talking to me yesterday, it's just, it's just, it's just flowing out. I'm yeah. Like, I'm a man, you know, and I, I'm a broker. So I can tell you from a, a broker side, someone that helps people sell these mobile home parks, why they may not be investor friendly. And I can also tell you the what you can share with them because they have fears that are not valid. Mm -hmm. And I would be able to share with you how to ease their fears. I love it. I love it. Wanda wants to know, can she buy one with Section 8 somewhere we're taking serious and get a job and have serious home. Um, mm -hmm. you can buy one with Section Eight. I know what you're talking about. They they now have a voucher program where not only will they they can pay the rent, but they will also help you buy a home, like on a lease option program. And yes, it is available through Section Eight. I believe most states have some requirements, just like with Section Eight, that the house has to be in a certain condition, et cetera. So mm -hmm. with that voucher, you wouldn't be able to go in and buy a mobile home that needs some work. It probably wouldn't allow that. But if, yeah, it's, need that. Fixed up, if it's already fixed up, you'd be a perfect candidate or someone with Section 8 would be a perfect candidate for an investor to rent or rent to own. Sweet. Um, big brother in life wants to know, can you renovate mobile homes and sell them? Yes, you can. And the great thing is they're not very expensive to renovate. They're not yeah. expensive to renovate at all. You're looking at probably the usual repairs um, are subfloor. So just the floor of the mobile home, which believe it or not, is just three quarter inch plywood. <laughs> that, that's what you got. Um, and then you're going to go in and put in your, you know, your vinyl or your carpet or whatever you decide that you're going to do. Um, that's majority and then painting and then sheetrock. I mean, it's the stuff that you see in in single family houses that you have to go in and repair. Uh, Scott is asking, do you do joint ventures, Stephanie? I will. I have not done very many of them, but I will. What would you look for with somebody like that? You want somebody to bring all the money. You want them to bring the property. You want them to bring the land. Hypothetically speaking, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm open to <laughs> all opportunities. I've I've worked with individuals that um, had a deal and they they didn't know what to do with it. Like, hey, Stephanie, I got this mobile home. Um, I'm willing to maybe give you the mobile home or sell you the mobile home for very little. But you show me the whole process. You know, I've done something like that. Um, I've done it where someone just comes to me and they're like, hey, I have this mobile home, but I'm a little lost. You mm -hmm. know, I don't have the title or whatever it is. And then we just work something out. I I, I'm investor friendly because I'm an investor. So there you go. <laughs> Get your questions in here, y'all. Round up. Make sure you uh, go to the video description. It's a two day virtual masterclass with Stephanie. She's going to cover A to Z, step by step, how to get started doing flipping them quickly and well, well i'm thinking my thing is this as i'm 45 as i'm aging i'm like i'm in this thing for the long haul mm -hmm. fast money you know that was cool <laughs> it's cool you know i'm not mad at it but i'm like this ron Grant told me chris the longer you own the house long more money you'll make yeah so i'm in for the long haul oh she said that uh mr love park can these types of homes qualify to be rented to section eight tenants stephanie Yes, I have several Section 8 tenants. Sweet. Uh, Mark, Jay, the information is all in the link in the video description below, my friend. Chris, hey, Chris, most urban environments have trailer parks within 30 miles at most. I've never done one, but looking forward to the training. Nice. Looking forward to seeing you, Chris. Yeah. Uh, 
I will tell you this, it, when we get through the training, maybe we'll have enough time at the end for me to share with you investing in mobile home parks as well. So right now our training is gonna be individual mobile homes. But for those of you who may have a little bit more capital and wanna learn about investing in mobile home parks, I'll be able to share a little bit of that information as well. Yeah, that's what I'm looking to do. That's what I'm looking to do. I'm like, man, mm -hmm. I gotta get that money working. Mark said, I'd rather learn than buy some sneakers. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I move. I am moving. I'd like to join you guys. Oh, she's moving. Okay. Uh, okay. What else we got here? Duke says, Chris, Stephanie, greetings. Greetings to you. Hey, Jay Black, how much does it cost to change out old carpets in a mobile home? Well, I'll tell you, I, I don't use carpeting in my mobile homes just because um, if I do carpeting get the Carpeting is back, the worst. Yeah, if I get the home back, then I'm dealing with cleaning the carpet, blah, 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 blah. I usually put down vinyl flooring. <clears throat> um, not the planks, just the sheet, vinyl sheet flooring rolls. Um, and that will cost you for an entire mobile home, three bedrooms, two baths. I've paid up to twelve hundred dollars for to to final the whole entire house. That is not including labor. You know, yeah. of course, you know, it depends on who you have to do it. But yeah, about eleven to twelve hundred dollars. And I usually will have some leftover that I can do a bathroom or something in another house. So gotcha. Vince says, uh, some mobile homes say you need to own to live there. They will not let you rent them out here in Southern California. That's true. But that goes back to being able to have the conversation with the park owner and being able to talk the talk and understand why they're telling you that. And I'll be able to share with you. I can't say guarantee that you'll be able to convince them to do it, but you'll be able to talk in such a way that you may be able to open them up to working with you, whereas they would not work with someone else because mm -hmm. you have tips and tricks that the other people don't have. Big brother in life, can you use hard money for financing these? You can, um, wow. but do you need to? <laughs> and, <sighs> and if you take the class, you'll find out that you don't need to, <laughs> but you can. Got it. Bernard Mack, will the training talk about flipping mobile homes or buy and hold mobile homes? Good question, brother. Well, Bernard, both. We'll be talking about both, how to flip them, how to buy and hold, and how to lease option. Yeah, Bernard, Bernard my thing is long-term hold, so she's doing the first day is how to do a quick turn. Yep. Because that's what we're putting the mind map together, y'all. It's so much stuff. <laughs> I'm like, we ain't going to be able to do this in one day. Yeah, yeah. I think I have that spinning, guys. <laughs> I'm looking at it, so I'm like, okay, we can separate it. Well, she thought about it. We can separate it two days. The first day is for quick turn. Mm -hmm. Second day is for long-term holes, all right? So she's going to give you all those strategies. And give you the documents, her lease, her purchase contract. So you guys are going to get that as well. Rashad, have you ever partnered with investors? Should one talk to an attorney about drawing up a partnership agreement uh, in the event like you would in real estate? Um, this, this is real estate. So it's the same thing. So if you've done partnership agreements with a single family house or multifamily, et cetera, it's the same exact thing. But yeah, I would recommend doing a partnership agreement. That's yeah. with anything. Even if you're friends, you want to remain friends. So That's true. <laughs> That's true. So. Let me do this. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Steph. I know you got stuff to do. Bernard, what is the times for each training? What do we say? Four o'clock? Four p.m. Yeah. Yep. 4 so we're starting at four o'clock, Bernard. That'll be right there on the uh when you go to the video description below, there's a link, Bernard. You can see all that information. Just click right on it, it'll take you right to the page where you'll see the information on that. Uh brother in life who wants to own the parks too. Yep. Uh, then you need to come along. I'm going to tell you this for those people that have no experience with mobile home parks. I recommend that you start with at least one single mobile home. Why because you say that stuff? Because start it. Think about it. If you're going to buy a park that has 20 homes, five homes, 50 homes, and you have no knowledge about mobile homes. 
you're going to get beat up yeah, <laughs> 50 homes. But if you can start with one and get as much knowledge from that one home, that's then going to allow you to go buy 20 and 50 homes. Why not? And you're making money while you're doing it, while you're learning. You know, I forgot to ask you yesterday, who are the, who is your ideal tenant for long-term hold on this stuff, Steph? Um, for long-term home, I do, I do background checks, which I advise if you're, if you're going to be a landlord, do background checks. Um, but I, I just look for someone who has stable income. I, I don't do the ratio like you would do with these, you know, high end apartments, you know, debt to income ratio. I just three. Look, yeah. I just look and go, okay, if my rent is $600 and they're making, you know, $1,800 a month that they're bringing in, I see, I believe that they can afford the $600 um, on, on that rental property. So I just kind of look at what they're telling me, who's live, who's going to be living with them, you know, um, how long they were in their previous location, how long are they been on their job? Mm -hmm. Those type of questions I, I, I'll ask, you know, what is their plan? You know, are they looking to ever move out of North Carolina or whatever? Just chit chat people up. You learn a lot that way. So the majority, is there like a, I, I know for me, mm -hmm. our clients are usually for my lease options. They're usually tradesmen, mm -hmm. HVAC guys, roofers, yeah framers and then on my section eight side you know i have a, a, a kind of like about an ideal of the person mm -hmm. that just been doing it for years you know i know what they kind of the box they fit in is there a box for uh, is in a box and, gotcha. that, and that's the thing like when you talk about mobile home investing people put it in a box they think that this particular type of person lives there you know oh, they're a yeah. little they're troublemakers they're the no, these are hard working people that live in these mobile homes and they can range from, you know, like you said, skilled people that are, you know, tradesmen. Uh, I have one guy, he owns his own painting company, you know, all the way down to someone who, you know, work. I have people that work for the court system. Mm -hmm. I have people that are secretaries. Wow. I have people that, you know, that, that work in, McDonald's, etc., but they're managers, or maybe they are the regular workers. But they so, work there so many hours that they are able, it's affordable housing, and they have some grass around their home. They have a little bit of a yard, you know? Nice, nice. Okay. So there's not no, there is no just. No, there's, yeah. A to Z. Mm -hmm. It's everything. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Round up. Get your questions in. We might as well take questions now. We got Stephanie here. Members only. You see a join button down there. We do take members uh, questions first. Once you join and we'll get that in first and members will have questions first during the training as well. Uh, round up today. We're opening registration for Stephanie McAnna's uh, mobile home two day masterclass. That will be next Wednesday. The, the date February 24th. So make sure you get registered now so you don't forget early registration will end in a few days. Uh, I hear you work out of state. Oh, mm -hmm. hold on. I, I don't want to miss. Oh, Vince, you work with out of state guys. Can oh, she, he wants to get your email too. Okay, she, okay. we can do that. Yeah. Will the course be recorded, PC? Yes. If you can't make it, you will have to register, but it will be recorded. There's an option on the checkout page where you can click and you can get access to the recording. So after after this, obviously we're going to turn it into a whole course, which is going to be a lot more. But for now, you're going to get it just for a price of a couple of tanks of gas. So yes, it is recorded. If you want to click that button in your checkout and you can get access to those recordings. How often do we offer this class? Q Hall. <laughs> this is the first time we're doing this. We're just putting this together right now. I, Stephanie, you want to stay? We put this together. I'm telling you, we've been doing this really hours. Fast. It was just talking. I did like you did. Uh, you know, I messaged you in a chat and said, hey, and lo and behold, here we are. <laughs> yep. Joel, would the class apply to other states or is this state specific things to be aware of? Yeah, what we're going to learn in this class is going to be able to be used in all states. We're going to learn the bit, you know, the basics of all states. Each state has their own rules and regulations, just like with anything with real estate, as far as um, 
no one really you need a license, but maybe as far as being able to move a home or, you know, the leasing restrictions um, that your state may have for renting out or rent to own. So I would just say, whatever you're going to learn in these two days, you will be able to start no matter what state you're in, unless you're in Hawaii. Because there's no mobile homes in, in Hawaii. <laughs> Other than that, you're going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know that. Mark wants to know, and one of our uh, members, is the eviction process harder or easier on mobile homes? I know you were telling me, she, I can't <laughs> reveal what she told me. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's the same. It's not necessarily any harder. There are two types of mobile homes, and I'll get to it on the, in this call, but when we do the training, I will get into the two types of leasing options for mobile homes um gotcha. and we'll get into that and it still doesn't change the eviction process it doesn't make it harder or easier it's just slightly different gotcha gotcha uh bernard are mobile home tenants different from single family home tenants good one i didn't know that Think about no that. not really a mobile home tenant is just like a single family home tenant um same makeup. They want the same things for their family as anyone else. There's really no difference. Gotcha. I heard you say 600. So I'm like $600. I just could not imagine. So if that's their rent and then they're making, we charge like 2.7 times the rent. I try to give people the benefit of the doubt if they can give that. It sounds like you're almost there. Yeah. And the way you base it on is, how much you paid for the home. You know what I mean? How much you paid for the home and how buy and hold, or are you going to hold it? So it, there's some nuances to it. To gotcha. determine your rent. And I, I'm a big believer in looking at what the market rent is yeah. for apartments. You look at what the market rent is for apartments, and then you go from there to determine the rent that you want to get for your mobile home. All right, cool. Yeah. John B., great, Brother Chris. Great information. Yes, another tool, box, another tool for the belt. Thank you for sharing, Stephanie. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Miss Mendoza. Ah, hi, just joining. Sorry if, all, if you already answered. How will how to get mobile home leads be covered? These are people that want to sell their property, Stephanie. Yes, that will be covered. That's where you start at, Miss Maria that, Mendoza. You would be. <laughs> you wouldn't be doing nothing unless you're gonna be able to find <laughs> out if you can locate sellers. Yeah, locate sellers or. People that didn't even know they wanted to sell. Well, I'm going to teach you that too. Yeah, that's what I like. When you were going over yesterday, I'm like, damn, I never <laughs> even thought about, about it. about that. Hmm. Never thought about it. Big Brother, have you implemented using virtual assistants in your mobile home business, Stephanie? Yes, big believer in them. Uh, Very much so. Helping me find them and helping me manage them as well. Gotcha. Roundup, i got to make sure I remind you, we've got 90 people on here right now. Uh, get signed up. And then the video description, Stephanie McKenna, real estate broker, mobile home manager and owner, mobile home park owner, is going to be doing a two-day virtual masterclass, how to get started in mobile homes. The link is in the video description. Go ahead and get signed up before you forget about it. Um, early bird registration will be for the next few days. So you get two days with Stephanie. First day is how to do quick turn sales, how to get in and out quickly to get paid. The second day will be long-term holds, which is where I'm at. I want to do long-term stuff. So get registered up now, guys. Uh, Duke, Ellen, what? Only 78 people, only 28 thumbs up. Yeah, give us a thumbs up, y'all. Thank you for that, Duke. Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> Joseph, do you become the bank with these mobile homes? Good question, Joseph. You can. Again, it depends on what your strategy is. So if you're looking to um, do seller financing, then yes, you become the bank. All right, one of our new members. What's up, Art? Right, thanks for joining our membership. I've been looking for the book Deals on Wheels. We talked about that yesterday. We did yesterday. talk about that today, yeah. And it's selling for all six. I thought you was, when you said that, I'm I like, said that. Yeah, someone shared that with me. I, I hope I did not it. throw, huh? I'm mad I didn't buy more copies. <laughs> I, I, I got to go get, I know I got it. I found mine. <laughs> you, could, you could do like, public readings and charge people like $20 to come, you know, Amazon. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll share that with you on, on the training of places you may be able to find the book. Art, 
I will say that you can get the you can get the PDF. It's free, but it's nothing like having that book. But yeah, yeah, it's I, ironic. You have to go through the crates and kind of think of some off shoot places where you can find it. Yeah, but I'm sure it's out, out to me. I may be able to hook you up. You know what? Um, I'm thinking about the fact that both of us know him, Lonnie. Yeah. You know, it's like how small is the world? You're just getting bigger, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. I say Lonnie deals, and everyone's like, "What?" <laughs> Lonnie deal. Yep. <yeah. laughs> Fighter pilot, message. Hit the thumbs up, y'all. Big brother, are there list providers for mobile home parks? No, not really. But maybe in a later training, I can show you how to create your own list for mobile home parks. Sweet, sweet. Wanda says, "Can we come back next month?" Wanda, we're going to put all the recordings in a in a training module. You can order them at a later time, or maybe we can get convince Stephanie to come back on again later. Andrew Sanderson, when you structure your lease options, does one hundred percent of their rent go to the payoff amount? Hmm. It depends on how you want to structure your business. I would say. For me, no, not a hundred percent of what they pay goes towards that payoff amount. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, man. I would. No. no. You, but you frame that up, right? I mean, you have a way that yeah. you explain that to them. So, yes. Andrew, come to the training. Yeah. yeah you won't be giving up. No. Go ahead, Steph. No, you you don't want a hundred percent of their rent going towards that one. That means that they're going to pay it off faster. Number one, and. The whole purpose of you doing that is because you want that income over a, a certain period of time. And I, I'll show, well, I'll share with you if you're planning on structuring your business like that, how to do it in waves, how, you know, how to have them where they're not all ending at the same time. And then you're uh, scrambling with no, with no income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I skipped down here. Mark, one of our members. Are there any tax benefits or write-offs for mobile homes? I guess it's uh, the same as single-family houses. So you have your rehab costs, you have your purchase costs. Those types of things are, you know, are write-offs. I don't know necessarily know about benefits unless you're maybe uh, doing something unique where you're renting to uh, a certain group of people. I, I kind of shared that little. Oh yeah, gonna, yeah. That I'm gonna test out. <laughs> I shared something with Chris, so that there may be an option. I'm gonna say that I gotcha. haven't fully tested it. Uh, Justin, hey Justin, uh, can mobile homes appreciate in value like normal real estate, or do they always depreciate? Well, here's Steph. the thing: they don't really appreciate in value. They're like a car. However, they don't really depreciate either, like most many people think. They're not like RVs. They're not like RVs. So think about it. You can buy a, a, a car, right? Uh, an old classic Model A Ford, right? Mm -hmm. If I fix that home up right now, would you buy it for the for what you think a Model A would be worth from what, 1930s? You wouldn't be paying $3,000 for that car. You'd be paying some big bucks more. fully remodeled model a it's the same thing with the mobile home so gotcha. a mobile home may be a 1980s mobile home but if it was well taken care of you rehabbed it you fixed it you did everything that that's worth some money it may not be appreciated um like book value mm -hmm. but it didn't depreciate either gotcha gotcha good question there justin Roundup, get registered up. The link is in the video description. We got 105 people on here now listening to every time. I know, man, I, I'm just excited to get her on here too, y'all. <laughs> people want to know this stuff. Go ahead, Steph. He's the only one that captured me. All this has been stuck in my brain for years. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah. Hood Handyman, how you doing, my friend? Hey. Uh, we're, uh, wise with it. Will you be covering the process to get title for homes without one? Ooh, now that is a whole training in itself. <laughs> so, so no, we won't necessarily, I won't go through the process of how to do it because it, it is, it's, it, that's a two day class um, or more, but I do will share with you that a home not having a title should not scare you. And I'll tell you why. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So you're telling me that they can still move forward with a house that doesn't have a title. Yes. Y'all, that's worth a couple bucks right there by itself. Wow. And that information helps you too if you got a car that doesn't have a title. Just saying. <laughs> what you were telling me that people just hire you to help them with that stuff. And tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I have I have several files on my desk right now where you know there there's there's people that I have one gentleman, he purchased the mobile home, rehabbed the mobile home, put a tenant in the mobile home, and the person he bought it from uh was deceased, so he bought it from their family. And they had the title. They actually have the title, but there's something on the title. Um, there's a lien that's showing up on the title. Now, this title was satisfied back in 1980 something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going through the process of getting that lien off the title, which is really not there. It's just DMV's paperwork is jacked up. So gotcha. I'm going through that. And then I have people that lost the title or they never had the title. So they bought the home. It sold multiple times on a mm -hmm. bill of sale. And by the time they got it got to them. They realize, wait a minute, I don't have a title for this. And for whatever reason, they want to get that title. Oh, so, yeah, gotcha. I do I that. Gotcha. PC, you just signed up. Congratulations, oh, my friend. I look forward to see you. Yeah, looking forward to see you. Get your questions in tonight. Mobile Home Park Store. Hmm. Yes, Mobile Home Park Store is a place that you can go to look for mobile home parks. Um, you can also look for mobile homes. But I'm going to share this little secret. I love Mobile Home Park Store. I knew the original owner of that that site. Wow. The thing is, every, anyone that knows about that is going there. I'm going to share with you where to go where no one else is going. I'm telling you. Roundup, get registered up. The link is in the video description below. Uh, February 24th, you're going to get two days of Stephanie uh, with her Mobile Home Park master, Mobile Home Masterclass. This is going to be so exciting. It is. I'm so excited. Q Hall 79. I'm buckled in, ready for the ride. Just registered That's up. It. Congratulations for you, my friend. Thank you. Somebody wants to buy that book for 500 I don't even want to sell it. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not in this for the money. I, no. I, I take it or leave it. Hey, I got to keep the book. I got to keep the <laughs> Yeah, come on, dog. I don't know what it's weird. I remember, dude. Stephanie, a lot of you know, I used to go to his. He used to do, I think I told you, he did these Saturday classes. They were like $99. He had boxes of these books. I mean, just giving them away. Now it's like five hundred. I can't. I can't even believe that. I really can't. Can you imagine having a book? I'm like, man. I'm just happy to get an ebook sold for like ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy to have an ebook. No. There you go. <laughs> Anna Laura, I've always been interested in investing in mobile homes. This is exciting. Uh, thank you for the valuable information. I will sign up. Congratulations. Good for oh. you. Yeah. Jasmine, one of our new members. Hey, you got a beautiful smile. <laughs> Stephanie, is there a difference between manufactured and mobile and modular homes? Break it down. Yeah, I'll talk about that now. That's part of the te uh, terminology. Here's the thing. Mobile home parks or mobile homes, there's some people that call them mobile homes. There's some people that call them manufactured housing because they're manufactured in a factory. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you ever get the opportunity to go to a man, uh, a factory and watch how they're made, it's amazing. Really? But, yeah, it's amazing. But they're called manufactured because they're manufactured inside of a warehouse. They're put together like a box. Okay. Mobile home came from the fact that they are mobile. They are on wheels. <laughs> and then you have modular housing. Now, modular housing is different. When you think of modular housing, I want you to think of Legos. It, it's pieces of a house that have been made in a factory and then brought together and, and built into a house. That's it. So you got one place that makes the walls, one make one place that makes the trusses for the, for the roofs. Um, and then they come together and then they put it together. Like, gotcha. Legos. gotcha. gotcha. Like Legos. And then you gotcha. have trailers. So anyone that you hear say, Hey, you know, do you have a trailer? They're talking about a mobile home. Gotcha. So the trailer? They call it a trailer because you can hitch it to your car or your, like a truck. And it's the same move. thing, right? Yep, it's the same thing. All of that is the same exact thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Roundup, get registered up. The link is in the video description. 
two-day masterclass virtual. All you can enjoy it right there at the comfort of your own home and ask all the questions you want from the expert. She's been doing this since 2007, guys. Bernard, what is the deal with the book? Why is that book so valuable? Well, because Lonnie is the godfather. He's the great, the, the daddy of the mobile home investing industry. Yep. He started all of this. He sure did, man. He had, I think he had four parks here. Mm, yeah. Now his wife's still here. Bernard, I think that book is so valuable is because you can't get it. Like, you know, it was like a, he was, he started the whole deals on wheels mm -hmm. phenomenon. People were like, oh, maybe I'll look into it. And his personality was just so, so damn cutthroat. Just, yeah, matter I of fact, like, yeah. <laughs> he's, he taught me self directed Roth IRAs. He sat mm -hmm. me down. I, I used to do breakfast with him at a silver diner. Oh, man. You're he said, Chris, I'm going to show you, Chris, something that should be legal. <laughs> That's what he told me. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, director Ross, and then I didn't. I did not get an opportunity to do any mobile homes, but that's why I, the book. Go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll share with you many of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, is very similar to what he was teaching in the book. It's just it's just martyred because he was doing this back what in the 70s, 80s, you know, and now we it things are different. So I'm yeah. gonna be bringing in technology and and different little tricks of the trade that meet 2021 standards great great so that's the deal with the book bro mm -hmm. jazz johnson is there a way we can just get the recordings unfortunately we don't have that set up right now so if you're gonna get that you're gonna have to get both i'm sorry my friend but if you want to wait to get everything it's going to be a lot more later once we put it in a module but uh still it's price of what a couple of tanks of gas and four three four tanks of gas my friend everything we do is affordable jazz johnson uh big brother can you market to mobile homes the same way you market to residential properties uh i guess big brother my question would be when you say marketing are you saying to market to buy or market to sell the mobile homes because if you're marketing to buy the mobile homes it's a little it's a little different from residential properties mm. marketing to sell is about the same gotcha Oh, man, we had another love offering. Hood Handyman. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. It's an honor to pour into you, my friend. It's an honor. Anybody wants to join our membership, hit that button. Your questions will be answered first. Twyla signed up. Can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yep. Get your education. What are you spending on your education? Vince, what are the average costs of a fix and flip in, my, in your area, Stephanie? Oh, that's kind of a trick question. Uh, if we're just saying that I already have the home and, you know, I'm going to just fix up the home, not including the cost of purchase. Um, it, again, it just depends on what your business model is. But I would say average, you're looking at maybe five hundred dollars to maybe about three, three, five thousand dollars for a fix and flip. I can't wait to go over those repairs because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm thinking the the minimum the minimum uh -huh. minimum I'm spending is 30, 35 stuff. Oof. You, you know what I mean? I wouldn't even got, touch it. This is thirty five thousand. Brand new mobile home for that. <laughs> yeah. Or I would take that thirty thousand dollars and buy probably five mobile homes for the price of your fix and flip. <laughs> I'm telling you, wow, it's something. It's amazing. Uh, but who is that? Tez W, do you invest in repossessions, Stephanie? Hmm. Ah, that's that's an interesting question. Um, mm, mm, <laughs> Woo, what, hold that's up. Training, First that's of all, training in itself. You saw my mind going. Um, here's frame the this up. Frame that up. I have yeah, no idea yeah. what Tez is talking about. Possessions. If you're talking about a mobile home, what it is is that someone might have bought a mobile home and lost it. It's like a car. So you know how they come and they pick the car up and they take it and they bring it back to the lot. The reason why I'm hesitant in saying that because it depends on who repossessed the home, and in most cases it's someone like a Clayton Homes. So it's a newer home that's being repossessed and they take possession of it. And so it you can get those homes, but you're getting them, you're buying them at a premium 
um, because of course they want to rec recoup their cost. So have I done it? Yes. At this stage of the game, it's not something that you need to do. <coughs> okay. <Yeah. coughs> so it sounds like you're not necessarily recommending <coughs> that at this time. No, I'm <laughs> recommending it at this time, and I'm not necessarily recommending it at any time um, because okay. so there's so many ways that you can get them at a cheaper price than dealing with going to a dealer who took back a home. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, and then you're having to deal with them and their upcharge, etc. Gotcha. Hope you help. Hope that helped with you, Tiz. Will there be a, a video module course will be available besides the training? Not at this time. Well, Stephanie and I are going to chop up what she's doing now and offer that uh, offer it up for sale. It will not be anywhere close to this price. And she's going to add some new stuff with her mobile home park stuff too. So, but this is the start. We got to get something for y'all now. Get something now. Yeah, I got a lot of demand for knowledge in yep. this space. So, Joshua. Joshua, the link, Lonnie link will probably help in the master class to follow along. That would be Yeah, possible. Yeah. Possible. A little Dad buys houses. Thank you so much for your love offering, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. It is an honor to serve you, my friend. It is an honor. Ray Taz, 50. I have a mobile home that needs fix up. What's the best place to start with the repairs? Wow. Ooh, nice. Um, come there. Well, one, just get the list of what you, one, what you notice needs to be repaired. So if you have soft floors, walk around the home, literally walk around the home and just kind of step and see if you have any soft subfloors. Then you know that you're either going to have to replace that whole entire room or it's just a matter of cutting out that spot and then putting down <clears throat> your new plywood. You're going to look for uh, things like around the windows to see if there's any water coming in, because that's going to give you some indication of, you know, any water damage behind the wall. So I would start with those things. Visual, look, and then look and see what you may want to upgrade. She's got a mobile home. That's cool. I'd love to see. That's cool. Ray, Taz, where are you? I need to do a video on this. Walk through one of those. Yeah. Tell me where you at. Um, Ray and Tess. I videos of us moving mobile homes, of me moving a mobile home in place and things like that. So I don't know oh, if we'll wow. get to be able to share those type of things. Um, I can show you before and after pictures of some homes that I've, you know, renovated. So that'd be good. That'd be good to see. Ray Taz also wants to know, do you recommend rent to own Stephanie? I recommend whatever your business model is. So like Chris, he's like, hey, you know, I want to be in this for the long haul. So if, if this is something that you want to have the continual residual income coming in, then rent to own is not where you want to go. But if you're looking to do this to make your money for now and you want to take it and invest it in something else at some point, then rent to own is, is definitely a good way to go. Mm hmm. I'm telling you, Lonnie Scruggs is like, man, pff, he held his joints forever. <laughs> he would he, he would refinance people. He would come. He was the bank. I remember he's like, man, I just they need money. I just give them the money. And yeah. they, they pay me back. And remember, you know what I said? There's some people, they they're transient. So you may get someone that you do a rent to own program and they decide, hey, you know, I need to move. I need, you know, I want to move to California. <clears throat> And so don't worry about it. Don't get upset. Like, oh, no. Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> you get another person with another down payment. Another down start payment. Over again. Start all over again. So Ray Taz is in, uh, looks like she's in North Carolina. You might be oh, able to hook her up. You're right in my neck of the woods. That's cool. Yeah. As soon as this virus is over, you know I'm coming down there, man. I got to get some footage right. of these things. Oh, yeah. Come on down. What's the name of the book? Kim Nelly, Kimmy Nelly wants to know what is the name of the book, please. Deals on wheels. Deals on wheels for six hundred dollars. By the way, I, <laughs> I think was I paid. To see if I had the book right here because I was just looking at it earlier, but I don't have it in front of me. I would hold it up so you could see what it looks like. That's crazy. 
Uh, Mark wants to know, can we do a self-directed IRA course? Yes, I can do that. Thank you. I guess for that. Big Brother, do you use Advantech plywood stuff? I use uh, whatever I can get usually from either a mobile home supply store, which I seem to get um, better pricing, or I could just go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know what they're using now. It's expensive. It's gone up. Plywood's yeah. gone up through the roof. Forty something dollars, forty six dollars a sheet. I just brought some. Can you believe it? No, it hurt my feelings. Stuff is going through the roof, Steph. I might need to go into the tree business. I'm <laughs> telling you. I'm telling you. Round up. Go ahead and get registered up. We got Stephanie McGannif doing a good. Going to, is going to be doing her mobile home masterclass two day live event, all virtual, next week. Get registered up. It's only going to cost you a few tanks of gas. If you want to get the replay so you can study it, I recommend that because it will not be offered as a replay. She's so going to cover the first day is do quick turn stuff, wholesaling, retailing, and the second day is going to be long-term holes. All right. So go ahead and get registered. The link is in the video description. And I look forward to seeing you there. Steph, anything else you want to leave my roundupers? We've got 85 people still on the line here. I just look forward to seeing you come to the training. I I promise you, you will be empowered enough to feel comfortable enough to get your first mobile home. You will, just from this training. Sweet. I can't wait for the negotiating. So <laughs> when they walk in the door, they don't be looking crazy. Yep. And the language, the language is going to be very important. You don't want to look, you know, go in there and not be able to talk the talk. So, yeah, I bet that's important. I mean, I can smell it. As soon as I hear it, somebody comes to me, I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You now I'm, work, you, you, you're shiny as a penny, but uh, no. <laughs> all right. Round it up. Enjoy your evening. Don't forget our video will come out in tomorrow at 8, at 8.30, just like as always. Get registered. The link's in the video description, and I will see you when, Wednesday at 4 o'clock. All right. See you guys. Subscribe to the channel, like the content, share with anybody else that is thinking about getting in the mobile home business. Stephanie is going to be the one that's going to give you a hand in getting that stuff set up. If all you got out of this was getting one mobile home, would it be worth the price of admission? Okay, guys. See you soon. Peace. Bye.